sometimes that's the other complication, you see. A good place for a picnic. And in my view, in intonation, you have to uh, be selective. We can't describe absolutely every feature. As Eva Estevas said, you've got to pick out the new targets. And this is just a high target at the end. We don't say how high you're going to get. All right. Here's the answer. No, it isn't. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I wouldn't have a picnic there. I can't imagine. I wouldn't have a picnic there. 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 Consonants, all right for everybody. Can't, can, can't, different vowels, positive, negative. I can't imagine. I wouldn't have a picnic there. I is accented, in fact, it's the nucleus. I need to fall rise on I. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't have a picnic there. Not me. I wouldn't. I can't imagine. I fall, assertion, claiming, and then I fall rise, contrasting myself with other people. Other people might choose to do it, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Referring as Randall calls it, I wouldn't have anything like that. It's very difficult to determine whether or not there are rhythmic beats after a nucleus. So if you put a circle or something for wouldn't <coughs> or for have, I can't really say you're wrong. Equally, if you get them out on a picnic and there, and they are not really contrastive in any important way after the nucleus. And the nucleus indeed is I, you should get that. I wouldn't have a picnic there. I wouldn't have a picnic there. Try saying it yourself. I wouldn't have a picnic there. I wouldn't have a picnic there. Again? I wouldn't have a picnic there. That's right. Very idiomatic English way of saying this. We're going to Brighton at the weekend. I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, go there. there. I wouldn't go there. Do. You may want to go to Brighton, but not me. I wouldn't go there. Okay. Wait for it. 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 What's that tone? Four eyes. Wait for it. Warming. Wait for it. Here it comes. Because of the sandwiches there. <laughs> because of the sandwiches there. 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 So we have our four eyes on 
Wait. What's the next one? Because of the sandwiches there. Where's the nucleus? Sand. Because of the sandwiches. Because of the sandwiches there. Because of the sandwiches. So, there's the joke. Ha ha ha. Sandwiches, sandwiches. <coughs> yes. It's a very well known joke. Because of the sandwiches there. Any queries about that? All satisfied? What are you looking cross about? Okay. Do you want to tell me about it or not? <laughs> All right. Don't tell me. Have you got something? No, I was just thinking you'd have to consciously pronounce it sandwiches for the purposes of this joke, even if you normally say sandwiches. Or something. Well, if you normally say sandwiches, then you have to be a bit more careful, yes. But it works as a pun. Everybody understands the joke. Another one coming? Oh, yes. No? I think I said it. Sandwiches. Sandwich. 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 Leaving the D out. Sandwich. 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 I mean, obviously, it's, it's optional. You can leave it out. Yes, you do. In the case of sandwiches, isn't it possible to replace uh, well, it's not impossible. Uh, do you mean the which or the is? Which? Is. Is. Some people do say sandwiches. Sandwiches. Just. I don't. I maintain the difference between the plural of office and the plural of officer. Office gives you offices. Officer gives you officers. Similarly, dances, dancers. But some people pronounce them the same. So I can't say it's wrong. Indeed, John Maidment, in his English transcription book, recommends that, you know, have schwa for all uh, weak vowels in this kind of ending. Makes life easier. But uh, no, I, I maintain the distinction. Sandwiches. Because, because of the, yes, well, that's how it's spelt, but not at all a common pronunciation. Usually because it goes with the word sausage as having A-U spelling, but pronounced O. Because sausage, and not because sausage. There may be Americans who say because, but they have a different setup for low back vowels and yeah. Do you have it as a non RP variant? Does it read? Uh, yes, yes. I think it may even be, I don't know. I to be honest, I don't know. I've never done an opinion poll about it. Maybe I ought to. But I'm pretty confident that I get 90-95% preferring uh, because. Uh, I mean it can also weaken to because and then we drop the bit and we say because 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 and that's how I often pronounce because. Because I don't want to. Because, 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 why don't you come? Because I'm busy. Because, right, but not cause, because, because. <coughs> That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. Don't stop for as we were the T, I didn't say that's, but that's doesn't matter, of course. I also said stupid and not stupid, still less stupid, which I talked about this morning. Some people have a short vowel in this word and say stupid as well, but I didn't give you that. So stupid. That's stupid. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. 
No, it isn't. No, it isn't. This, by the way, is an idiomatic English intonation pattern for disagreeing with someone. No, it isn't. It would be intonationally impossible to say, no, it isn't, in these circumstances. You put in other circumstances. But if you're disagreeing with someone, you say, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Why are there no aspirins in the jungle? 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 Aspirins. <laughs> Spelled aspirin, but pronounced <laughs> aspirin. <laughs> Why are there no aspirins in the jungle? Why are there no aspirins in the jungle? No, it isn't. Why are there no aspirins in the jungle? Uh, yes, aspirin is one of those words where we have a sort of theoretical possibility of three syllables, aspirin, but we normally pronounce it as two syllables, aspirin, just like family, can be family, but is usually family, or general, can be general, but is usually general. Even every could sort of theoretically be every, but in practice it's always an every. Aspirin. No, it isn't. Why are there no aspirins in the jungle? <coughs> Everybody happy with vowels and consonants there, the segments? Intonation. Why do I put the stress mark before the T instead of after it? Well, because that's how I said it. I said, no, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't. If it was divided the way it's spelt, it would be pronounced, no, it isn't, no, it isn't. And you can do that, some people do that. But anomalously, strangely, in the phrase, it is and it isn't, Many speakers move the T into the stressed syllable and therefore aspirate it. Instead of saying it is, it isn't, you then get it is, it isn't. This is exceptional. But that's why I put it like that. No, it isn't. Fall then rise. No, it isn't. This is a divided fall plus rise because isn't is accented here. It's new information. So it must have its own tone. So this isn't a fall rise on no this time. This is a fall followed by a rise. No, it isn't. Why are there no aspirins? The weak form of R in the jungle. Vowels A and A, for those of you who find them tricky, aspirins in the jungle. They're not aspirins in the jungle. Aspirins in the jungle. Anybody know the answer to this joke? I don't wish to know why. 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 Didn't say don't wish, but I said don't wish. 
both are possible. Don't wish. Did you get it right? Yes, good. Don't wish to know why. Where's the nucleus? No. Is it? I don't wish to know why. Why is repeated material. Why are the aspects in the jungle? So, because it's repeated, it's given why. de accented. I don't wish to know why. And finally, we get to the punchline, as it's called, of the joke. Here's the punchline. I don't know if you'll understand it or not, I'll have to explain it, but it goes because the paracetamol. Because the paracetamol. Rozumiesz. <laughs> Because the paracetamol. Because the paracetamol. Because the paracetamol. Because the paracetamol. There it is, because the paracetamol. Paracetamol is uh, the name of another drug like aspirin. <coughs> you could mishear it as Paris eat the ball. This joke doesn't work in American English because Americans don't call it paracetamol. They call it Tylenol. <laughs> and so the joke doesn't work at all. But that's the British name for this particular drug, paracetamol. I'm trying to think what the Japanese for it. It's, just like, it's the chemical name amicetophen or something like that. <clears throat> Anyhow, it has different names in different countries. But we call it paracetamol. Some people pronounce it paracetamol. The joke still works. <laughs> <laughs> paracetamol. You can hear it as et past tense rather than eat in the present tense. Ah, well, that's that. Let's uh, finish with some English nonsense, what we started with. Back to English nonsense. <coughs> Charablosish. 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 Last time. Charablosish. Check with your neighbour if you've got the same answer. Charablosish. Chara at with R. Chara blowsish with an L. Chara blowsish. Did you get the R and the L the right way around? Correctly identified. Chara blowsish. Chara lips. Chara lower lips. Blowsish. Chara blowsish. Try saying it yourself. Chara blowsish. Again, Charablosish. I must say, I think it's frankly Charablosish. Actually, it fits nicely into a sentence. Well, you know that song about supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, which is an invented word, but fits in with English pronunciation patterns. All right, next one, decrevelet. Oh, decrevelighting. 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 If you're not sure between R and L, look at my lips. <laughs> Decrevelighting. 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 
incredible lighting. I've written this with the ordinary dotted eye there, if you've written it with the small cap here, that's also correct. The incredible lighting. But you had the kit vowel in the first symbol, didn't you? Yes, because my happy vowel is the same as my kit vowel. <laughs> 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 that is the complication of this. It's too sophisticated. Um, I say happy, and it's really identical with my kit vowel. So you have to make a decision on what other people do. And this is obviously the prefix spelled D-E, you see, in words like decline and so on. Where I say decline, there are people who say decline. And so that's why I write This is now becoming very common. Well, uh, it's difficult to say how common. The point is there's no contrast. I, I see this as more a matter of neutralization of a phonemic opposition. Uh, and therefore, on theoretical grounds, I want to write it like this. <clears throat> it's uh, arguable. Some people disapprove of this analysis in the D prefix. But anyhow. Until the third edition, you didn't usually have the happy vowel. That's right. I so didn't. But then I had these more complicated entries that gave it a and D. But then, as people pointed out, well, this is the same as happy, happy. Why don't we just simplify? Save space. Publishers love to save space. That's so that I mean, it wasn't usually interchangeable with schwa. Uh, well, it can be exchangeable with schwa as well. That's right, decline. Anything. Anything, yes. Uh, that's a further issue, though, which I don't think we want to bring in. Yes? So if we um, distinguish between the kit and the, um, the, kit and the base vowel, yes. um, it would be the kit vowel that we would use as well. Absolutely. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Equally, you can say happy or happy, we don't mind. You can say various or various. We don't mind. You could say remember or remember or for that matter remember. We don't mind. So this is freedom, you know, this is something to welcome, not something to be worried about. <laughs> Good. Well that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, time for one more, one last one. Werthel Strogand. 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 When you're training your own pupils to listen carefully, you could also consider giving them nonsense words in your language, just to make them listen carefully to what the sounds are. And, you know, this, it's not a word that actually exists, but as long as it conforms to the patterns of your language, then they ought to be able to recognize it with no problems at all. Having got them used to the idea, then you can do it in English, or for that matter, in some other language. When I was an undergrad, no, postgraduate here, we used to have French nonsense words. Nonsense words consisting of French sounds and uh, in French orders and so on, so that we would train to listen for French. Right, so Werthel Strogan. There it is. Werthel, syllabic L, dark L, Strogan. Strong. Any questions about that one? Yes? Could you have a syllabic A and not have the schwa? Well, you could have done, but I didn't. I said straw gun, 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 gun. So that began to be strawgun. Strawgun. This is a difference I made between English and German, to be honest. Uh, I think I put the word in German. Wagen, uh, car. In English, I say wagon, or in this case, wagen. But for German, I say wagen. That is my wagen. Wagen, 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 wagen. And that's a syllabic villa nasal effect in German. Have we got any German speakers here? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's correct then, OK, wagen? Yeah. <laughs> Even in Austria? Yeah. Yeah, OK, wagen. So this is an important difference between English and German. English 
have certain positions where we don't really do synovic consonants so readily as German does, although we can do it. Good. Any further questions? Yes? Wordle? No. Strawberry? No, no, what? Wagen, okay. Do it with a what? G and R. Wagen. An R? Wagen. Wagen. Yeah, Wagen. 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 Exactly what you want. Uh, <laughs> yes. Danish uses a lot of syllabic consonants too. In fact, all the Germanic languages do. It's one of the characteristics of the Germanic language. But English being, well, not all that Germanic, we don't use as many as you get in, in, in German or in Scandinavian Germanic. Okay, well, time to finish. Thank you all very much.